Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to Robot Todd, issue four, page six and seven. These are the thumbnails for the spread. This, these pages took me considerably longer than I intended to. Um, from this, after this, I've been thinking a lot about how I want to do this comic book because the first issue is coming out in December. So if you're in a comic book store or you feel like going to one or calling one up, and ordering issue one of Robot Todd from Floating Rule Comics. It's in the Diamond and Lunar catalogs this month, so it's important that you go and ask your comic store, or if you're a retailer, or you work at a comic store or whatever, they're like, oh, here's here's the time to get this first issue of Robot Todd. And it should be in the actual stores in December. It's coming out bi-monthly, which means every other month, I think. And... My concern was how involved these pages have gotten. It seems that every time I work on a project, it'll start off a lot simpler and then get more and more detailed and complicated as I go along. So I'm trying to kind of rein it back in. I mean, there's certain conversational elements I wanted and story things to have happen here from my based off my script. So... I'm just trying to rethink the visuals and how to make this more engaging and for the reader and then less work for me, <laughs> less like actual manual labor of drawing. And it's not even the drawing as much as like when I get to the coloring stage, it gets very uh, like something about the adding the more detail with the pen line and the pencil line. Anyway, I'm always refining my process and thinking about how I want to approach projects and even in the midst of them, I feel like my art changes and uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to have to make some hard decisions here. Uh, so at this point here, you've seen me do the thumb, go from thumbnails to sort of loose pencils and then more refined pencils. Here I'm inking over the penciled letters with a Faber-Castell pit pen. And I think I mostly use size S. I was using size F for a while. I'm drawing these near actual size. So I want to, I guess, try to get the letters a little smaller. If I was working on bigger pages, I would use the F. But since, I don't know, my lettering is kind of, I feel like, bigger than like a computer lettering would be. I want it to be as clear and legible as possible, but still have like my hand in there without, I just don't want to use a computer font. I want to keep the lettering on the boards, but then I end up still end up doing a lot of Photoshop stuff to clean up and fix the letters. This is a commission I did recently for Daredevil. I was going to be at, uh, going to like a Rose City Comic Con show. And so I did this as like, you know, to kind of get in the vibe of, oh, do a superhero commission. I've been a fan of the Daredevil comic. I love the Miller Mazzucchelli stuff and Born Again and Annie Innocenti and John Romita Jr. is like some of my favorite comics that run that they had in the 80s. It was fantastic. So I put the word out that I could do some commissions and someone asked me to do a Daredevil and I don't think I'd ever really done a Daredevil commission before. So I'm inking this with uh, Raphael 8404 number two brush, the same brush I used on Robot Todd pages. And yeah, there's the finished that guy. I used to entertain fantasies about doing like a monthly book, like drawing Daredevil or Spider-Man or something like that. I realized after a few attempts at, at doing like superhero comics that it's just, I don't know, it's just easier and more fun, satisfying, whatever, to draw my own stuff. Speaking of my own stuff, these are drawings that I did in my own books, people would buy a book from me and I'll do a little drawing in there. So if you ever catch me at a show, there's Sherwood from Proxima Centauri. Someone did ask me to do an Astro Boy. Like that. Oh, and uh, these guys came by with a uh, David Bowie sketchbook and that was an old one I had done like from 2019. And that other one was one my partner Soph did. And I did this Wolverine, I didn't ink it at the show, but I picked it a pencil of it at the show. And I got Soph, my partner, to do a, a punk rock storm from the X-Men in the 80s that I like. I thought that was pretty a pretty cool thing. So this is not my art. This is a, 
I should put a little label underneath that. It's so friends. Uh, check out her baloney feathers on Instagram. So this is uh, me starting to ink the pages here, and I'm inking with that same Raphael 8404 brush. And this page was mostly inked with this brush, too. There, At some point, I think I switched to the fabric has steel pit pen just because there gets to be so much little details. So I'm doing... I do all the main characters first with the brush, but, but it was mostly like pencils first, inks with the brush, and then switch to pit pen for like the little annoying, tedious stuff. And then, yeah, I dive into the colors. I don't know, it's just nice to break stuff up going from like, sometimes it's very satisfying and feels good working with a brush. And sometimes it's like, oh, this is, I'm just going to use a pen, just draw with a pen for a while. But um, the, too much of either one, it, I don't know, I guess everything gets kind of, you have to figure out how to make things exciting for yourself, or I do for myself. I don't know if you're like me, but. <laughs> so these two pages here are pretty consistent with the thumbnails. I don't know if you noticed, but on this page, this is the page uh, seven, and the upper left, the panel in the upper left corner, the first panel, that's the only one that I re ch even changed at all, really. The All the other panels are pretty much the same. That one I just changed from like more like a cropped torso shot of the three guys standing there to a full shot. Because like I have this compulsion where I have to put the whole figure in the frame if I can, <laughs> every once in a while I'll do like a close up. I think there's like a, a close up of Sept on page six, but for the most part, I, it, I don't know. It just like really bothers me if like I run out of room on a, a drawing and then there's like, you know, like a hand gets cut off by the panel border or like a foot or something. So it just, I don't know. It, uh, it's just like a weird thing that I have where it's like, Oh, if I can, I want to keep, all the figures in the panel frame as, as much as possible. Anyway, and here I'm coming to the part on all these pages that I eventually get to where I like the a couple of the panels in this stage better than at the final stage. And it's kind of weird too. I notice uh, that the yellow tape that I put around the edges, I think I'm going to I have all this like tape that I got from somebody. So I'm just, I guess, trying to use it up. But like, I really don't like that yellow tape where it kind of changes the, like viewing the art, like as I'm painting it, it kind of affects, I, I almost, I would rather have it just like white tape or something. Especially when I take pictures, it's almost like a yellow glow to everything. Another little change that I did on these pages, you can't see it right yet, but you'll see in a minute, is the ghost character. Uh, East Ghost, and they're flying there in the last panel on page seven. I added like a cape and stuff, and I just did that with white gouache paint mixed with uh, blue gouache, I guess, like blue watercolor, liquid watercolor mixed with white gouache. And I just kind of added that, just kind of went over, like a, did a few layers on top of that to get that to, so you couldn't see the see through there. I just, I don't know, I didn't like the way the the shape of the, the shape it was making before it didn't make sense with like the robes and stuff not that it makes total sense now but at least it looks a little more ghostly flowy than it, it did before i don't know it's, it looks this is bothering me but anyway so here are the finished pages uh, you can see the two different versions i did where it's like this is just the raw scan and then this is with the lettering and the sides cleaned up in photoshop and stuff so that other one was page six. This is page seven. And this is the finished spread. I guess I'm zooming in on one panel to show you the cleaned up version. There's the, there it is in its entirety. And I'm pretty satisfied with it overall. And oh yeah, here's this show coming up here. Grit City Comic Show in Tacoma, Washington, November 9th. Hope to see you there. But if not, you can get most of my books on So Feral Books, bigcartel.com. And my latest thing out in stores is 32-page Robot Todd tie in September. And I have a Patreon for $2 a month. You can see all the Robot Todd pages. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.